What's up you guys, come on in, come on in, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my August haul. So um, I don't think I really did that much, like I really don't. So I don't know if I've really talked about this with you guys, but you guys know that I've been struggling ever since the summer with the room that I record in and it's being so hot and yada, yada, yada. I had to move my fragrances out into another area in the house where it was much cooler, blah, 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 blah. In doing so, I really kind of had time to like really think and really ask myself like, where was I going with my perfume collection? And yes, I am a fragrance reviewer and yes, I want to talk to you guys about the newest, latest, greatest, all those good things, but I don't want to necessarily have a collection full of fragrances that I don't grab for, that I don't wear. So I have been selling a lot of my fragrances on Macari. If you're not following me on Macari, please do so. I will leave my information right here so you guys can go and follow me on Macari. I am getting rid of a lot of great fragrances. There's nothing wrong with these fragrances. These fragrances, if I pick them, you know that they are good fragrances. Um, but I just don't grab for them that much and they're just sitting and I want them to go to someone that's gonna use them, you know. Some people are like, you know, I have over 300 bottles of fragrances, blah, blah, blah. You know, I haven't put like a set number um, in my on my collection, like a number that I don't wanna go um, over for my collection because to me that's like a really, um, it's not a realistic goal for me, but what is realistic for me is making better decisions about the fragrances I want in my collection. So I'm going to um, look at the different houses, houses that I absolutely love, you know, houses like Tom Ford, um, houses like a house I'm gonna mention in this video, Boho Boco, I love their fragrances. Um, a lot of different indie brands that I really like. Um, so I'm looking at it from that point of view, I'm going to, you know, keep the fragrances that I have from the houses that I love. Mugler is another house that I really enjoy. So things like that. So again, I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of my fragrances. And if you want to purchase, follow me on Macari, all right? So I will talk about the fragrances that were gifted to me, okay, um, from a brand I only got um, two brands gifted me fragrances this month in August, and that was Boho Boco. I have a video, I will link uh, link the video up top so you guys can click on it and go watch, but I did a very detailed video about uh, my experience with this brand. Now, they sent me a long time ago the Discovery Kit. I fell in love with Sea Salt Caramel. Okay, I've talked about this fragrance. I'm not gonna go into detail. The video will be too long, but you guys know I will circle back and I will get into the uh, fragrances. I would do like what I'm doing now. It's like 15 minute reviews on certain fragrances. Oh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me um, in another video. If you're new here, you've never seen any of my videos, let me just briefly introduce myself. My name is Amanda Marie. Over here, I love to talk about fragrances. I do talk about some other things, but for the most part, my channel is dedicated to smelling good, okay? So if you're someone that loves to smell good, I would love for you to subscribe and follow. Thank you. All right, so back to the Sea Salt Caramel, y'all. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of summertime, but it also reminds me of a gourmand. It's not like a sweet, sweet fragrance, but it reminds me of like a salt water taffy type of candy. You know, it has the caramel. It, you can smell like the saltiness in the fragrance. It's not overwhelming. 
and you can smell like this sweetness so I really enjoy this fragrance so they sent me sea salt caramel they also sent me wild cherry liquor which you guys need to get if you're someone that is into cherries like you love fragrances with the note of cherry you will enjoy this fragrance a lot man this is beautiful this is beautiful this probably is my number one now i'm so glad they sent it to me i think it's a new release as well so i would say wet cherry liquor is my number one and then number two is sea salt caramel and they sent me a really nice oud fragrance um it's gonna take a little time for this fragrance to grow on me. If you go watch the video, you will see my first impressions of this fragrance. This is called Wild Carrot Oud. It's a very smooth oud, but it can be a little overpowering. I would not suggest this fragrance to anyone um, who is not into ouds. Like if you're not into ouds, I would not recommend this fragrance. This is gonna be for my seasoned babies, you know you have upgraded your perfume collection you are you know you dibbled and dabbled into ooze you know what ooze you like what ooze you don't things like that this fragrance is going to be for that individual okay it's not going to be for the uh, you know a newbie like if you never smelled a oud like you don't know what a oud is or anything like that girl i would highly i would not recommend this okay just to give you a brief description of what a oud is an oud is a type of wood it's a very um an old wood okay it's aged let me say that it's aged it's expensive okay like if you're shopping for ouds and stuff you will see that a lot of oud fragrances are going to be more on the high end side that's because that oud that wood that aged wood is very you know it's old and it's expensive okay so i like this again it's gonna have to grow on me to be honest with you it, it leans very masculine you guys know i love a good i like a good line you know what i'm saying like i like that line where somebody will smell me and they would think wow you know it does smell a little bit masculine but on the other hand it smells very it could be it could go either way Okay, I like fragrances that can go either way, that leans on that line, you know? Okay, the next one I was gifted, I don't have the bottle with me, it's in the other room, but I was gifted from Mugler. They sent me um, their new release. This is a flanker of Alien Goddess, okay? Now, I bought this one on my own, but I do have a full-size bottle. This is like a 30 ml, I think, and I, I had no clue that they were gonna send it to me um and they did so i have this one and i have the bigger one which i'm debating if i should do a giveaway with this fragrance uh y'all comment down below if enough of you guys comment or do a giveaway then i will but if y'all don't i won't <laughs> okay i did do a full review on this fragrance alien goddess intense that's what it is okay i don't think i mentioned that this is the the intense version so this is a flanker to the original i think the original was released last year if i'm not mistaken and this one was released probably a couple of months ago maybe three months ago or four months ago or something like that but this is alien goddess intense again i will link a video up top so you guys can go check out my review on this fragrance i actually love this fragrance i actually love the original alien goddess okay that one is more like a fresh um bright coconut water fragrance with notes of jasmine and it may have a little bit of wood in the base this one is coconut still but it's more of a coconut uh essence like an actual coconut note it's not coconut water so you get a little bit more coconut in this fragrance you do get jasmine and you get jasmine tea and this fragrance does have a tea-like feel to it. Also in the base, I wanna say you get some benzoin or some type of resin, which comes off a little sweeter, a little warmer, a little bit more woodier, okay? So, you know, when you're dealing with intense versions of uh, a fragrance, it's gonna be a little bit heavier. So I can see myself grabbing the Alien Goddess, the original in the summertime because it's very fresh and bright. And I could see myself grabbing this one 
more so in the winter time because it comes off more so as a fall winter type of scent to me but i enjoy both of them if i had to say if i had to pick one that i felt like i enjoyed a little bit more i would say it would be this one but you know i'm that girl okay i am that girl i like thick fragrances fragrances with depth fragrances that are very loud you know fragrances that could lean a little bit more masculine again this is alien uh, goddess intense okay i don't know i don't know why for some reason i wanted to say alien essence absolute and probably because that fragrance is dis discontinued and my god i've been trying to get my hands on that fragrance forever um i know juliet perfumes makes they have a dupe um for that fragrance which i'm low-key tempted to buy because i i wanted to see what the hype was about with the alien essence absolute everyone enjoyed it and it really breaks my heart when um consumers love a certain fragrance and the brand decides to discontinue it for what whatever reason or another i don't care i just hate when they do that because you know that was something that i really wanted to try but anyway child these are all fragrances and i do have one item that's not a fragrance i guess i should talk about that first all right i am so in love with this body butter okay this is from fenty okay this is the butter drop butter drop okay i bought my first one some months back and you guys when i tell you i literally wear this body butter on a daily basis it makes my skin so smooth and soft and just shiny and it makes my skin look healthy i really enjoy this and so um I, i'm almost out of what i have and i was like you know what let me just go ahead and buy another one and silly me forgot that i could have got a refill this comes in a refill I want to say this is $42 and the refill is like $38 or $36. Y'all correct me in the comments, but um, I forgot that it comes in a refill. So anyway, I have a whole new jar here, but moving forward, I would definitely get the refill because it's cheaper. And then it saves um, on packaging and stuff like that. So I love this. If you guys have it, comment down below. Let me know what you think about it, but it's amazing. It does have a slight um, fragrance to it, but in my opinion, it's not overwhelming. And it's just the right amount of fragrance where I feel like it won't clash with my perfume, um, whatever I decide to wear that day, it won't clash with it because it's very subtle in my opinion. So I do like that a lot. I'm not the type of person that um, is really into fragrant um body butters and fragrant lotions i am the type of person where i would get i would get a really nice expensive um lotion like eucerin or something like that that has no fragrance to it because i when i wear my fragrances and that's probably this is probably the same reason why i'm not into layering like layering is huge now everyone layers i never really got into layering because I like to experience my fragrance on its own, if that makes sense. I like to, and, and to me, I feel like that is the perfect way to find out if this is a fragrance that I really love, I really enjoy, that I want to keep in my collection. If I'm layering it with something else, I really can't, you know, differentiate between this fragrance and that fragrance like which one am i smelling yeah they smell good together but which one is do i really want to hold on to i got this from sephora too so i just want to mention that while i was on the sephora website i did get some makeup i think no i got the milk um primer i love the milk primer i got that and then i got a face powder from Givenchy. I don't know if y'all care about that, but I did get that. I also got some of these little mini nest oils because even though I'm not into layering, I think layering my fragrance, my one fragrance with an oil 
will help the longevity of the fragrance, of said fragrance, you know what I mean? So when it comes to layering in that aspect, I, I can get down with that. You know, like if I wanna layer, um, cause one of these fragrances is Turkish Rose and I could totally see myself layering that with Delina Exclusive because the Turkish Rose, even though Delina Exclusive don't need no help from nobody, like she can stand on her own two feet, she is a banger, okay? but. If I just want to give it a little extra, a mm, little bit more razzle dazzle, if you will, I can layer it with the Turkish Rose. Also, I'm really digging the Madagascar Vanilla in this. That is amazing. So you get five tiny little oils, okay? The first one is Seville Orange, Indian Jasmine, Turkish Rose, South Pacific Sandalwood, which very much smells like Santal 33 from Le Labo, okay? You also get Madagascar Vanilla. Again, the Turkish Rose smells like Delina to me in my opinion, but I felt like this would be good for me to put on, you know, my body butter and then add some oils, you know, and then, you know, spray my fragrance and see how I do with that. I'm, I'm taking baby steps into layering. I'm still not really sold on layering two fragrances together. I do it sometime every now and again, but it's not something that I do on the regular. So yeah, I got this. I thought this was pretty cute to try before I just really, you know, committed to a full size bottle of oil. Moving on to the next fragrance, you guys know, uh, I did end up getting the new fragrance from Kali. This is Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. A lot of people have compared this to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I also did a review on this fragrance, which I will link up above. Click on it, go check it out. So in case you're interested in purchasing the fragrance, you can get my um, opinion on it. But I think this is a great fragrance. Longevity, we're talking about, now, now first of all, you know, we all know it, K. Ali's been around forever. Vanilla 28, Musk 12, you know, um, all those beautiful fragrances. Kayali, in my opinion, they're all great, okay? They're great for layering as well. Um, but when you get into the area of longevity and projection, it's not beast mode, okay? These are the type of fragrances um, you're probably gonna get a good four or five hour wear out of the fragrance and then you'll have to respray. But I don't mind that with this particular brand for two reasons, because they're affordable, number one, and number two, they smell amazing. So because of those two reasons, my biggest gripe with this brand is not longevity or projection. Like, I love this brand. I think that this is a great brand. It, I think Kayali fragrances are really, really good for people who are new to fragrance, who are beginners in fragrance. You can't wrap around the idea of spending over $100 on a fragrance, you know, cause you're new to it. Like, you're not like me, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a long time. I would highly recommend this to people that are like that, like you're new to fragrance and you just wanna try different things, but you're not trying to really break the bank. So I think they're great for that again. I love the, I love Kayali. I love all their fragrances except for one. One, I just, we, I just, mm, I just haven't been able to enjoy it. Uh, Deja Vu White Flower. I love the hair mist. Oh my God. And I'm, I'm not big on hair sprays and hair mist either. <laughs> I'm not big on a lot of things, but um, that hair mist, ooh, baby, it smells amazing. And it smells up the whole room, y'all. It smells up the whole room. But when I smelled the actual fragrance, it didn't smell the same. And it has two bros in it also, and I'm not a big fan of two bros. Y'all know that. Now, back to me talking about creating my fragrance collection. So I've gotten rid of a lot of fragrances with you guys. I've not been talking about it that much. If you follow me on Macari, then you know I've been, I, I think the last time I put fragrances up was maybe two weeks ago and I sold about half of that bunch that I put up on Macari and I'm about to put up some more on Macari. So anyway, I got rid of those and I decided, you know what? I love fragrance so much. I don't see myself like not buying fragrances. 
So I'm gonna focus on what I what I've really been wanting to add into my collection. So I have three fragrances here, and I have one recommendation that I'm totally in love with. Okay, so the first one that I've been wanting to add into my collection is Mojave Ghost. Oh my God, Mojave Ghost is. I've always loved this fragrance. I've always, always loved this fragrance. I will do a follow-up video review, 15 minute review on Mojave Ghost. Mojave Ghost has been around for a while. When was it released? It was released in 2014. So it's not anything new uh, under the sun in the fragrance community. It's just new to my collection. I wanted to get rid of a lot of my fragrances before I purchased this. So it's kind of like a trade-off. I sell some and I bought one, okay? Because this is not cheap. But this is beautiful. This is just angelic to me. It's mysterious. It's not over the top floral in my opinion. That violet, it has violet in it. And that's another thing. If y'all been following me and watching my videos over the last freaking five to six months, all I've been talking about is violet and orchid that's all i've been talking about it's something so i'm attracted to that floral note it's very elegant very classy very beautiful again it just gives me like a sense of um mystery when i smell this fragrance it can almost kind of be um unisex in my opinion to be honest with you it's not very woody it's not heavy on the woods it's it's unique in my opinion it's unique enough for me to love it okay i feel like this is not something that a lot of people are going to be wearing you know even though it is a popular fragrance i just don't hear a lot of people talk about this fragrance that much anymore and i felt like perfect this is the time for me to get it because everybody is not reaching for it and everybody is not talking about it and now i get to enjoy it and it's like brand new to me you know some of the notes in this fragrance include sapodilia which i have no idea it looks like a fruit it looks almost like a fig um and brett in the middle you have magnolia you have violet you have sandalwood the sandalwood in this is beautiful this sandalwood is kind of creamy but it's it's not necessarily woody okay there is cedar in this fragrance in the base and ambergris now that's another thing i'm not very big on ambergris the ambergris has to be done right in order for me to enjoy it in a fragrance because in my opinion ambergris can come off kind of stinky it can come off smelling a little bit like the bottom of an ocean and your girl not trying to walk around smelling like fish, okay? Um, ain't no fish over here, period. Unless I'm, I'm having salmon or I'm having red snapper or something like that. I love this one. I This has been on my list of fragrances to buy, oh my God, since I've been reviewing fragrances. So about three years now. I finally added it to my collection and I love it. Actually, I'm going to spray some on right now because oh it's oh amazing Ooh. Ooh, child. love this Mojave Ghost by Byredo now I'm so happy that this brand I'm happy and I'm not happy let me stop lying I'm happy that they came out with a smaller version and I think this is a one ounce it's super cute but y'all this one ounce is still expensive like seriously but I love this because especially somebody like me that has a very big collection. I don't want to continue to buy big bottles, you know. But this is Jazz Club from Replica. Look how little this is. Like, it literally fits in the palm of my hand. That's how tiny it is. And I'm not even going to tell y'all how much it costs. Y'all can go Google that. In reality, I probably just should have got the bigger bottle. Mathematically wise. <laughs> But um, now that I'm doing the math in my head, you know, at that time of purchase, the math was 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 mathing. It made sense to me. Now that I'm talking to y'all, the math is not mathing. It's here now. I got it now. But anyway, this is Jazz Club. 
um this is my very very first um maison margella replica fragrance i do like that brand i i really enjoy that brand the biggest reason why i enjoy replica fragrances is because it reminds me of a pastime like a childhood or if it's like like they have one called beach walk it it reminds me of the beach i have a travel size of festival um and it reminds me of a music festival so i like i enjoy fragrances like that you guys know about by the fireplace it literally smells like a fire burning in a fireplace you know so i love how they tap into you know that my senses when it comes to fragrance so the reason why i got jazz club is because when i was a little girl um, my family owned a bunch of Hole in the Wilds. Like if you're from the South, you know Hole in the Wild. Some people might call them cafes, but it's like a not a fancy club. It's like the type of club you go to. It's um, it, most of them is BYOB. You know, the lady come with your set up, a bucket of ice, and you know your orange juice or your cranberry. But you're gonna bring your own crown. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna bring your own Jack or whatever you drinking on that night you gonna bring your own stuff so i grew up in that environment like there was a jukebox and you know the man would come and switch out the records and put like all the new releases in there i grew up in that type of environment when i was a little girl i'm thinking like lord my mama had me in the cafe lord <laughs> In the cafe, at a hole in a while, it was very smoky, you know. I would go sneak out there from time to time and, um, you know, all my mama little friends and stuff would be like, Oh my God, look at Amanda, girl, you getting big, girl, you getting big. And they would be child puffing on them cigarettes and, Oh, let me look at you, girl, you getting big. Oh, she getting tall. And they would hug me and they reeked of perfume and cigarettes and shit you know that was my life when i was little you know so this fragrance really really reminds me of that time those were good memories for me i know for some people y'all probably be like uh, okay but for me those were good memories those that's how i grew up so i wanted to get this i didn't want to get it in a big bottle because um i didn't necessarily see myself grabbing for it all the time but you know when i'm feeling nostalgic and things like that uh, i will grab for this fragrance and this is going to be the perfect scent to wear in the fall and winter which i cannot wait i'm starting to sweat right now as i'm doing this video for y'all but yeah this is going to be a good to go to fall and winter and it's sexy to me i like this fragrance as a matter of fact let me just spray a little bit on i don't know if i'm going to do a 15 minute review on this fragrance because people have talked about this fragrance quite a bit, okay? It's very ambery and warm. And what is this? Oh my God, it says heady cocktails and cigars. Yeah. Cocktails, cigars, smoke, blues. Dun, 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 dun. So this is very reminiscent of my childhood. Again, I told you guys my whole objective when it comes to my collection is to add fragrances that resonate with me in some shape, form, or fashion, and fragrances that I love that I just absolutely can't do without. Here's one that I absolutely love and can't do without. This fragrance embodies money to me, sexiness. It just oozes confidence. And ever since this fragrance was released, I want to say a year ago, I've had my eye on it and I picked up a fragrance from Tom Ford. This is from his private blend collection. This is Eben Fumé. Y'all, I've been wanting this fragrance from day one, from day one. This fragrance, oh my goodness. It smells like when you walk into Neiman Marcus, when you walk into an expensive department store, it smells like opulence. It smells like money. It smells like a baddie, okay? Like, ooh. Now this fragrance is very heavy on the amber. This is a very heavy amber-based fragrance. So it's gonna be warm. It's gonna give you a sense of warmness. 
like fragrances like Grand Soir, okay? Grand Soir is heavy on the amber, okay? It's an ambery scent. So in addition to the amber, there is incense, there's Palo Santo, there's black pepper, uh, leather, there is uh, resins, there is ebony tree wood and guaiac wood. So that will give you an indication of kind of how heavy on the woods this fragrance is. This would be like the, the big sister to ombre leather and Tuscan leather. This would be like the older sister, like the firstborn. Like this is, you know, she ain't taking no shit from nobody, okay? She's big sis or even mama, okay? Like she, this is the mama. This is the mom. Ombre leather is a baby and Tuscan leather is a baby. That's what how I feel about this because it is very reminiscent um, to ombre leather in a way. And Tuscan leather too. It's the leather in it, that's why. It's the leather in this one. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of leather. It has to be done right. I only have a handful of leather fragrances. Like I have Milano by uh, Fragrance Dubois. I have um, Ombre leather, Tuscan leather. And now I have Eben Fumé, which has leather. And I probably have one or two other fragrances that have a note of leather in it because I'm very particular when it comes to leather. Leather can turn sour or something on my skin. I don't know, it does, sometimes it can do something real funky. We're revamping things, we're redoing things, we're rethinking things. Let's just go ahead and get what we want. Let's just do that. And so that's what I did. I got what I want, cute little 30ml. I actually got this one from Nordstrom. Um, I wanna say it was like, it was a sale, it was like, 175 original price um and then there was like some it went on sale for like 141 or something like that and then i have some nordstrom points that i needed to use before the end of august so i literally got this for a steal i got this for like 120. it was mint i was like you know what because when i had been eyeing this fragrance that 175 was turning me off like i was like i want it but i refuse to pay almost 200 dollars for a tiny 30 ml are you kidding me this last fragrance is a fragrance that was recommended by truvalia i hope i said your name right girl um i follow her on tiktok and she is a fragrance reviewer influencer she uh, lives on the East Coast. She works at Nordstrom's uh, on the East Coast. I want to say New York. And so I saw a TikTok she did one day and she was talking about this fragrance from Malin and Getz. This is called Dark Rum. This fragrance has also been out for a while. I'm pretty sure this fragrance has been out for over a year now because I briefly watched a review on it and the review was done like a year ago but uh, again this is dark rum you guys this fragrance is so good oh my god now it does lean a little bit masculine slightly masculine and but slight I say slight because it's fruity that's from the plum so there's plum there's bergamot there is leather, another leather fragrance. There's rum, there's amber, there's milk, there's patchouli, okay? It's not heavy on the patchouli. If you're like the type of person that you don't care for patchouli, you think it's too earthy, you think it's too herbally, too incensey, whatever the case may be. I enjoy the leather in this fragrance. The leather is almost, the patchouli is almost not there for me. The leather is very light, okay? Um, this fragrance has rum, but it's not necessarily boozy. It doesn't give me boozy, you know, like the Eben Fumé gives me boozy, but there's no booze in it, you know. This definitely, Jazz Club definitely gives me boozy, but this does not give me boozy, and there is clearly rum in this fragrance. It must be like a Jamaican rum or something. It, it is not a dark rum, it's a light rum. I almost want to say it's a light gourmandy it's almost like a gourmand 
it's delicious I, what can i say in that milk and the dry down makes this fragrance uh slightly creamy like you definitely pick up like a lactonic creamy milky feel in this fragrance but it's amazing. My daughter said it reminds her of Christmas. And I kind of see that because when I smell it, it does make me happy. Like, you know, I don't know. It makes me smile. It makes me feel good. But this is an amazing scent. It's amazing. And it's super, well, I ain't going to say super affordable. It's affordable, okay? I picked this one up at Nordstrom as well. And this one was $95. It actually comes in a candle too. Um, but this was the, a beautiful recommendation. Like this is a beautiful recommendation. If you like fragrances like Moogler's uh, Eau Carcier, you will like this fragrance, okay? All right, you guys, that is it for my August haul. I didn't really, okay, about one, two, three, two, one. Okay, I didn't do bad. If you are not following me on Macari, I would really urge you to do so because I'm really, really about to put some good fragrances on my Macari. Um, my Macari is also down in the description with the link. Take you straight to my Macari. If you go to my Instagram, it is in my bio. Comment down below if you enjoy any of these fragrances that I mentioned. Let us know how you feel about them. I feel like it's always good to get other opinions on fragrances, especially if someone is watching this video and is thinking about buying one of these fragrances that I mentioned, chime in, let us know how you feel about it. If you're someone that is into fragrance and you're, you know, building your collection or you're looking for something new, you know, I would love for you to join my channel. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, that way you'll be notified every time I upload. Hit that thumbs up button and y'all know why I be asking y'all to hit that thumbs up button. I ain't gonna say it in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.